Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Iceblade here for another YouTube video. Today I'm just doing a quick review on a gaming mouse. Now this mouse was used by me extensively for two years and uh, gamed on it, my son gamed on it. Uh, it went through hell basically. It did have a couple of falls and there was a plate at the back where you can put some weights in if you needed to and uh, that actually cracked. But the mouse itself, it lasted. It's still working. It's not broken in any sense, and it will be used as a backup mouse for me when gaming. Um, I did get a replacement for it, but I'll do the unboxing and review of that mouse also. This is just basically a two year update review on the Red Dragon Phoenix. So when I bought this mouse, uh, I came off. The Logitech M518 in the background here. One of the best gaming mice I ever had. It's, I would still say it's one of the best and they did a revision on it. Uh, it was just a little bit expensive though but I mean this was a great mouse. The feel, the, the way it sat in my hand, it was just excellent because I kind of have large hands. And um, I got this, all that I did not appreciate that much about this mouse was it was catering for both left and right handed people. So for those people out there that keep complaining they don't have good choices for left handed people uh, in gaming mouse, this one can do it. The sensor on this is brilliant, I never had any misclicks on it, it's still clicking perfectly. The wheel is working brilliantly. Uh, the sensor on this was the A3050 gaming sensor. And it has a lot of marketing speak. But uh, the switch they use here was that Omron. And it says here it can go for 20 million clicks. Now, I've been using this mouse for another video that I'm doing on uh, aim training and stuff. So I used. Aim Labs and in Aim Labs you click like crazy. There's a whole lot of balls and a whole lot of things you need to click on and you go crazy. So I was thinking that in Aim Labs I'm going to um, use up this 20 million clicks in a month or so. Yeah, it, it was really hectic. It was like clicking, 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 crazy. And then it was for gaming. I did FPS gaming with it. The, all the other games I have, the games I stream, uh, my son did his Counter-Strike on this, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, never any issue, never ever a complaint about mistracking on the mouse pad, misclicks, uh, button not working, the scroll wheel is still working, I know of a lot of friends that normally when they do get a, a gaming mouse or something, or the cheaper ranges or the budget ranges, that the scrolling wheel kind of gives in. Now I have to admit that I only use the scrolling wheel on the mouse for web pages or scrolling off pages uh, whereas they use it to switch between weapons or grenades or stuff. I tend to use the keyboard or shortcuts for that so I don't use my scroll wheel as much as they do but theirs do give in. That's the one thing that gives in. Uh, actually what died on my Logitech M518 was the scroll wheel. The clicks are still going strong, tracking is still there so it's only the scroll wheel and then it makes it difficult because I use my PC for gaming and for internet and for work so I need the scroll wheel. It uh, just makes it easier when going through many pages. So this is still going strong, um, it's going back in its box now, um, I can still show you the mouse, I will do some closer pictures of it on the back, uh, Teflon feet, still brilliant, it glides, so smooth, there's no gripping, never had to like force it, it's just there, clickety clicks are still there, both of them. 
even the wheel, scroll wheel click. And then what they did was the mouse looks exactly the same from both sides. So you have two buttons on this side and also two buttons on that side. So if you were right handed, it fit in your hand like this and your two buttons were on that side. If you were left handed, it fit exactly the same and then you had two buttons on this side. So brilliant mouse. Could not wrong it. Still can't wrong it. it has settings. It came with a nice still have the box and uh, they still do the small CD for your drivers your instruction manual it had braided cable with gold USB plated uh, connector really nice braided cable a lot braided cable and uh, still working even after some drop tests it had these uh, weights at the back Actually, there's five of them. They came in this Red Dragon weight container. So you could choose how many weights you wanted in. What is the better feel for you? I know some lady gamers do like the mouse to be very light. So they take them all out. Space for them in the container. It's very neat. I mean, for someone calling this a low-budget mouse. And uh, the package you get, I was pleasantly surprised. And... Uh, it's still working. This can still go for a couple of years, I suspect. And uh, But it's getting replaced by a, a different mouse now. So I'll be doing a review on that. What I do like about this one is the grip on the side. It has like a rubbery feel to it. And uh, like, sort of like pimples there. So that's the weight side of it. I have them all in because I liked it, but uh, you can swap them around in there or you can wait it to the right hand side or wait it to the left hand side. It is a brilliant feature. Some of the top gaming mouse do have that as well. On the DPI side of things, they had preset DPI's on your buttons, but at the back you had a user switch where you could go through five other modes and also then in your driver software you can set up your clicks to be different because I believe in uh, FPS gaming that you should have the option start at least around 400 DPI's and uh, we normally swap around between 400 and 800 now on the standard setting on this specific mouse you started at 500 and you went up to 10,000 so that's way too much. You know, for FPS, you would never need that. For FPS, I truly believe 400 or 800. So good mouse, great gaming performance, great tracking, clicks all there, rolling, the scrolling, the DPI switches, the hardware is brilliant. The software is excellent. It's really two points, it's nothing fancy, it does what it needs to do, you can preset your stuff and like I said, switch at the back, you have your five other user options there, that's great. What more you need from a mouse than what this offers, I don't know, but this was good enough for me, it was good enough in all the games I play and I never had an issue. So. I think this is a brilliant mouse. I think if you're looking at a mouse and maybe budget strapped and you're not too much of a fanboy, just give one of their products a go. This one specifically I can vouch for. I mean, I can even borrow this to someone and I'm sure they would game for a few more years on this. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you would like to see more content like this, please hit like, uh, subscribe. We do need some friends on here to get this channel going. Uh, anything that you would like to see in the future, you can also pop that down in the comments below. Have a good one, guys. Game on.